Hey everyone, we are back for another Tuesday tour. Seth and I decided to make it all the way across the river for you guys, the Columbia River up here in Vancouver, Washington. And we have the pleasure today of showing you the nicest listing in the Portland metro area. Definitely the nicest listing we've had the chance to tour. As we are walking up to the house, this is nearly a 14,000 square foot house with more beds or bathrooms that I think anyone would ever need. I'm already seeing a lot of fun stuff out here. You got a little sport court, a putting green, but the real magic is inside and we will get to that later. Let's go inside and meet the listing agents. Okay, so as we're walking across literally a bridge, a concrete bridge over the water feature, you see the four waterfalls on that side of the house. We're approaching a massive pivot door. The materials on this thing are outstanding. It's really more like a commercial build, something that you'd see perhaps in like LA, Las Vegas. Okay, so walking in here, this is very impressive. But before we get to the house, I wanna introduce you to Dave and Jonathan and they can give you a bit of background, not only on the listing, but also Vancouver, where we are today. Yeah, I mean, Vancouver, as many of you may already know, has the incredible waterfront that has really been a huge surprise and success, including this is a tax haven in the state of Washington. This home also faces due south, so you get the sun all year round, even in the northwest. Yeah, so one of the great things about Vancouver is really becoming a city of its own. So many people actually from Portland are coming over for the tax savings, as you mentioned before, but just the accessibility to the gorge and we're only five, 10 minutes from the airport. So for the tour, this is a massive house. Where do we start? Okay, well, all the fun stuff is on this side. So I'd say, let's go walk through the kitchen. It has some amazing views. All right, so on the way to the kitchen here, Seth, what are you seeing? Yeah, well, what I'm seeing is this incredible great room right before the kitchen. You got this pass through fireplace with LED underglow on it. You got a massive wall of glass doors that open at a push of a button. Over there you have a saltwater aquarium that is completely set up to be self-sufficient. A lot of things so far and we're only about 10 feet into this tour. Let's take a step into the kitchen. Okay, walking into the kitchen you have a flat profile, European style cabinet package. I love the dark black mixed with the white, great contrast. And then you even have this live edge bar. Massive island, great for entertaining the way it just bleeds out there to the outdoor kitchen. And of course you have pretty much dual everything. I do want to point out all of these cabinets are just automatic touch. So I don't even need to bother opening or closing. Just one press button. 60 inch double wolf range right here. Black and white tiled backsplash with great contrast. We've got the pot filler, massive sink here, another right there. Yeah, a couple things I'm noticing is above the cabinets, they actually are lit up if you wanna display some fine china or some plants. A TV pops up right here so you get a little more entertainment. You have a full prep kitchen pantry, a lot of storage here with all the shelving and the cabinetry, extra sink and sub-zero refrigerator. I do wanna point out too, all of these floors throughout this whole main space are heated. And right before we get upstairs, we do wanna point out how amazing this formal dining room is. Easy enough to fit a dozen people. You got a bunch of built-ins on this wall. You've probably got 30 foot ceilings there and one of the most unique custom light fixtures I've seen. It's all black to continue on with the trend throughout the house. As we walk this way, you're going to see this glass display for over 400 bottles, all temperature controlled, floating glass staircase with custom little gate for the little ones. Yeah, and down this hallway, you get your mud room, another bedroom, which is a full suite. You have a half bath, and then you have this little kind of media area that has its own little kitchenette in it. Yeah, walking up these concrete stairs, they actually have LED trim on the treads too, just so you don't stub your toe, right? Just so you don't stub your toe on your way to get your late night snack. And so we're up here on the upper, I always call this the sky bridge because it truly feels like that. You're open on both sides. If you look up, you have dark stained oak. These are basically hardwoods on the ceiling throughout this whole main space, giving it a really, really nice touch and bring in that view from outside in. You do have an elevator right here on your left hand side as well as a staircase up to the top rooftop bar. Now take a step back with me into this nice loft. 
you still keep this incredible view. Awesome hexagonal wall paneling. You got dual TVs just so you can watch both games at once and easy access to a deck for a little indoor outdoor entertainment. And then down the hall here, we have four bedroom suites all with a very unique theme. And then right before we show you the primary on this floor, let's actually go up another level. You have a half bath and coming onto this rooftop deck, you still have the amazing view that is just prominent through this whole home. You got a full outdoor kitchen. Yeah, and being in the Pacific Northwest, it is really nice to have all of this covered. So you not only get the sun, over here, but you can enjoy this pretty much year round if the game's on and you wanna come enjoy the view, even in the rain. All right, and finally, we're making it to the primary suite here. Beautiful Alec Monopoly artwork. We're gonna to get to that a little bit more later on, but oh my gosh, this has got to be one of the coolest rooms I've had the pleasure of being in. Absolutely, you have that full glass wall that Sam's standing in front of. You have your own private patio outside. You have a desk in a closet, which I've just never seen before. You got beautiful built-ins over here, amazing lighting in the built-ins. And Seth, I think you actually need to just get comfortable over here and enjoy this view. Yeah, I mean, I would love to sit there, but I think I would choose either this day bed on my private patio or this incredible freestanding tub that still retains the view. Now, along with that freestanding tub, you have this enormous vanity. And this is the biggest shower I have ever seen. It's a steam shower, you got your full bench. This shower, I know it's usually about closets, guys, but this shower, it's definitely bigger than my apartment. You have a his and hers water closet and off to my left, you have a whole nother utility room with dual washer dryers, espresso maker, microwave, basically a whole nother kitchen just in case you find yourself thirsty. And now come on with me through these double doors to your primary closet. What I'm immediately drawn to is the quality of these built-ins. It's just another level with the edge LEDs, the can lighting, the display cases for sneakers, shoes, jewelry. But the amount of cabinetry and custom features in here is truly unmatched. I just wanna point out all of these actually open for additional storage. And this is more or less your changing area with fully mirrored wall and you have great natural light with all the linear windows placed above the actual closet built-ins. And now back on the main floor, we're actually going to be showing you what we've been teasing this whole time, the entertainment zone. Yeah, this is a dream. You got the automatic door still behind here. We're in this full-size kitchen in here. It's an amazing space just for entertainment. Just like in the living room, you can open this up for indoor, outdoor entertainment right there. You have the pool, but they have it set up just like I would set it up. The ping pong table, the beat mat, foosball table, the beat mat. And as we go further down this wing, it only gets more exciting. Before we go that way though, come on into the theater. Sam, you're gonna have to like adjust the settings or whatever because this room is fantastic. The walls are literally sparkling before your eyes. I'm not sure if you're picking up on this in the camera, but you have one massive center TV and then six smaller surrounding TVs, which are honestly each probably bigger than the TV I have at home. Now coming out, going a little further down, you got a little shuffleboard, another bar top, you got a microwave there, a little draft here. And then stepping into my favorite part of this house, we have this incredible bowling alley. Now bowling is probably a sport I could probably hold my own against you, Seth. We're not gonna test that out today, so there's more house to see. But before we head on further, take a look at this mural. So you may know Alec Monopoly from his massive online presence. If you don't, obviously very recognizable characters. Overall, just like gives this room a very happy vibe. But this is like a priceless piece of art built in really to the house. And as we continue down the alley, this place is massive by the way, I wanna point out the blue dyed floors, LED lighting on the sides of the walls here. Yeah, stepping into this room, it is a professional golf simulator by the people over at Trackman. Anyways, this is gonna get your game dialed. They have nice artwork over here from Shadow Creek as well. One of the most exclusive and beautiful golf courses in our nation. Nice little sitting area right here too. So, you know, you and your buddies can come in here, measure your swing. I'm not sure anybody would wanna sit there with me practicing right here. And then behind Sam, you got this nice picture-esque window to see your sport court, your putting, and, and Matt is out there. 
Let's go out and see what he has to say. That's exactly right, Seth. Up here, you do have a chipping slash putting green. I love the palm trees throughout this whole landscaping. Really adds to the ambiance. And you've got a fully lit sport court with a hoop for Seth, a hoop for myself right there. And then moving on to the motor court, which could literally park probably over 100 cars. You're sitting on nearly 1.2 acres. So you do have plenty of space for an extra outbuilding. This is an extra oversized three car garage with plenty of storage. And then flipping on over here, you have a full casita on the other side of this three car garage for all those guests who you want to stay on the property, but maybe not too close inside your home, if you get what I mean. Okay, so walking out through these massive folding doors, we're just gonna call out the obvious here. We're in January in the Pacific Northwest, so it's a little bit cold, uh, but I can obviously see this is built for entertaining. As you can imagine, this place is incredible during the summer. You have the indoor, outdoor kitchen that all opens up. You got the swimming pool and you have this incredible TV that comes out of the ground. One of the things I love about this outdoor space is the access to the water. You have your own private dock, 40 feet deep so you can park your yacht. And this is a perfect backyard for the family. Not only do you have the in-ground pool, the big flat yard, you have a private beach. Okay, so in wrapping up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We wanted to save this for the 100th episode because honestly a house like this truly deserves it. But at the same time, I know Jonathan and Dave are probably gonna get this guy sold before we reach that point. Yeah, definitely one of our favorites that we've ever got the opportunity to do. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, comment what you wanna see from us. Subscribe to us, helps us out a lot. We're also gonna put all of their information in the info below, so go check them out. Thank you guys again for watching, and we will see you guys next Tuesday.